Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be talking about field level security. Now this is a topic that has been really widely requested and it is one of the fundamentals of Salesforce security and PS it is a fundamental that is on a number of exams within Salesforce, namely the, the admin exam, as well as the app builder exam that you will need to at least understand at a basic level to be able to pass those questions on the exam. So let's talk a little bit about the Salesforce security. So there's two different types of security. There is object level security and there is record level security. So object level security allows you to see different groups of data and the subgroups of data within those groups of data. Now that really, sounds really complicated, but object level security allows you to see opportunities, leads, tasks, accounts, all of these different things. And then drilling into it, it's what kind of access do you have on these objects? Are you able to see it all? Are you able to see some of them? Are you able to see and edit? Are you able to not see any? That's kind of what it is. It allows you to understand if you're able to see it as well as edit it and how much you can see. And that coincides a lot with record level security. Record level is also and is more so in charge of the individual opportunities, for example. So the individual camera for marketing team or copy machine for main office those types of things. And we're not gonna get so much into record level security, but let's go back to object level security. So we are on an opportunity. I wanna go into the opportunity. So object level gets you into the object. It also tells you what you can do on the object. And if you narrow, narrow, narrow down all of those different security features, it can get down to the field level of, can you see this particular field? Can you edit this particular field? And that is called field level security. Now there are different ways to narrow this down um, or I guess open this up because typically how Salesforce acts is there are different levels of opening up access. Um, so like you have your org wide and then through different features, you can open up access to certain object with your functionality. So, so you have your org wide, maybe it's opening up opportunities as a public read so everyone can read it, but maybe you are a sales manager and so you also need to be able to edit. And so you would have the org wide, which would be preventing you from editing it, but then you have a profile or a permission set that would allow you to open that up to be able to edit this. So let's go ahead I am going to jump to the back end of Salesforce. I'm going to go to the object. And let's talk about the different ways that you can open up and change the field level security. I'm going to go to fields and relationships. I'm going to create a new field here. Um, let's just have this be a text field and have it be the main contact name. And I'm gonna have this be 255, which is the max. Um, and I think all these other settings are good. So now it's gonna take us to the field level security. So now we may or may not want to have certain people see the main contact name because of security purposes for the different opportunities that we have. Maybe this is a very high profile field across all opportunities that we don't want just everyone to see the main contact. So what I can do is I can change the different settings. So we have visible and we have read only. So if I were to take away the visible, you know, I'm gonna do everyone and then take it all away. So now no one is able to see this field if we have it visible to no one. I'm going to have this be visible to the system admin. And then let's have this be visible to the support profile and the sales profile. And then have this be read only for the support profile, but then the system admin and the sales profile can both edit it. So here we are establishing that only three people or three uh, groups of people with this particular profile are able to see this main contact field. And then only the sales profile 
and the system admin can edit that field. So if we're gonna to go to next, then we're gonna add it to all these different page layouts and hit save. All right, now we can go back over here and sometimes it takes a while, but we are able to go in because we are the system admin and see the main contact name. Now, if we were on a different profile that did not have access, we would not be able to see this field. So that would be um, the marketing user and maybe a few different other users that are there because this is someone who we only want contacted um, by the select few groups of people. So the main way to do it is when you are creating this field, or you are creating a profile to, to have it be visible to people or to have it be editable to people. Another way to do this is through a permission set. So let's say we had a few marketing people that we wanted to be able to see this. We would be able to create a new permission set and then assign that permission set to those few marketing people or those few people that are one-offs that need to see this main contact. So let's go ahead and go back to the setup. I'm gonna go to permission set and we're gonna create a permission set. Going to click new, main contact visible. All right, and no license here, I'm going to hit save. Now I'm gonna go into object settings and then we can go down to the opportunity. Here we go. And now I only want to change the main contact for this to be uh, read access only. So I'm not going to select edit access. If we were to select edit access, it would automatically give us read access. So now I'm going to come up here, hit save. And now we have created that permission set that opens up the visible access. Now I can go in, manage assignments, add assignment. Um, let's go to all users here. And I am going to assign it to the security user. Hit next, I'm gonna have no expiration date here and hit save and done. So now that security user is able to go in and see that field that is main contact. And those are a few ways to open up access for a field with field level security. I guess at a really high level, field level security allows you to have different types of access on a field by field basis. So it allows you to see it or edit it. And sometimes you're able to, or how the phrasing is, is hide the field where you take away the access to certain profiles and permission sets that maybe had this field. So in a nutshell, that is field level security. I hope that this explanation was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe. If you're feeling generous, you can check out the courses down below or on salesforceupscale.com. We cover a lot of the um, object level and record level security in the admin exam, the associated exam course, and the app builder exam course on Salesforce Upscale. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at MBA. And thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.